Presidency, you are not custodian of Rivers Road. Atiku attacks Winky. Hmm. This fight is getting dirty now. The fight is getting stronger. The People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar has said Governor Nyesomwiki of River State is not custodian of votes in the state. Wiki had vowed never to support Atiku's 2023 presidential bid. He and five other PDP governors have been aggrieved with Atiku and the party's leadership after he lost the presidential primaries. The governor accused Atiku of backing Iyotia Ayu to remain as the party's national chairman. Wike and some governors of the party said the particular region can't produce PDP's national chairman and presidential candidate. The governor also accused Atiku of sidelining him in the constitution of his presidential campaign council. Reacting, Atiku said Wike can't manipulate votes in River State following the introduction of electronic voting. Speaking through the spokesperson of his campaign council, Dino Melaye, he said it is wrong for Wike to think he would fail in River State. He stressed that the governor can't decide who the people of the state would vote. It is very fallacious for you to think that because that governor is not with your candidate, he will lose the state. I will cast your mind back to a day when you sat down and wrote results for a state. We are not in that era any longer. With the advent of BVS and electronic transmission of results, a river state, for example, but on Wiki is not the custodian or he is not to appropriate the votes of rivers. So if you now go to elections as it is now with electoral reforms, the grassroots matters, the electorate matter, the youth and women matter. That is why Atiku is speaking directly to the conscience of the electorate, Melaya told Chinese TV. Mm. That would be a small thing. So Atiku, here, the presidential flag bearer of uh, PDP, is speaking through his spokesperson, uh, Senator Dilo, Dino Melaya, to tell Wiki that Wiki does not and in any way control the votes of River State and so therefore cannot manipulate the votes of River State. All right? Especially with the advent of the BVAS and electronic transmission of vote, no one person can stay somewhere and, and, and manipulate results right now. And he is trying to tell Wiki that he, can, he could cast his mind back to a time in the past where somebody can, could just sit down and mark voters' card, um, sorry, mark, um, mark vote, votes, vote papers, and then, and then return it as completed. And then they use that to, 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 to conclude elections. That will not happen again with the current electoral, electoral act and with the BVS and electronic transmission of vote. That can never happen. What matters most now is having access to the grassroots, and that is what Atiku is doing, trying to talk to grassroots. Is Atiku actually talking to the grassroots? That is the first question. How many communities, how many states has it gone to talk to the grassroots members? Because all of them are believing that with the money they have, they can buy this vote from anybody. They can buy anybody. That is the confidence they have. Both PDP and APC candidates are hoping that with the money they have, money commands authority. They can use the money to buy anybody and buy anybody. And that is why there's an allegation now that the big political weeks have started buying the ICT staff of the INEC on how they are going to rig the election directly from the computer. So as, rather than transmitting the election, uh, election results straight from the polling unit, they want to go to back-end collision centers where only the ICTs will be working to go there and manipulate the numbers. That allegation has come up since yesterday morning and nobody has refuted it. Even INEC has not come out to say anything about it. All right? So, and that is what APC and PDP are believing that they will do. But now, the feud between Tinubu, I'm, I'm sorry, between uh, Atiku and Wike in River State is getting messier as now the, the, the party is now dumping Wike and telling him to hell with you. We've, we have tried to make peace with you and we cannot make it, so go your way, we go our way, we move on. 
That's what Atiku is saying. We move on. So if uh, if if you have refused reconciliation, so be it. Now they're coming back to let him know that irrespective of his level of bitterness, he does not custody the votes of the river state. And he cannot manipulate it either because of the current uh, provisions of the BVS and electronic transmission. So in, that, in other words, they're telling Atiku, I mean, they're telling Niwike, go your way, go and do your worst. There's nothing you can do about it. Already, from my own submission, these parties are gradually falling apart, giving way for a better Nigeria. I know that getting very close to the election period, they will all eat themselves, eat themselves out of the pathway so that a more credible person and a more credible party will take over the leadership of the country and deliver the, the kind of governance that everybody is, is, is yearning for. So we've got some comments here from a few persons. Uh, one person said, Wiki had bad activities of PDP in South-South, and Wiki's movement is huge among the common man in the South-South and Southeast because we believe he is fighting against fluoridization agenda. As far as the South-South is concerned, PDP is unpopular among the common man. Hmm. So what are they trying to tell us? Has Wiki decamped from PDP to any other particular polit political party? Or are they telling us that that uh, rumor that is though is in PDP but is working for APC. Are you saying that is correct? So it does it mean that Wike is gradually destroying PDP in the south so he can he can entrench APC in River State and other states? And do you think that will work? Right? And when you say Wike is fighting against flanization, are you sure he's fighting against flanization? Because he spent his money buying the north uh, the northern delegates in PDP, hoping that he will win um he will win uh, the presidential primaries of, uh, of PDP. Unfortunately, at the dying minute, Tambua of Sokoto sabotaged him. After aligning with him and agreeing with him during the primaries, Tambua, the Sokoto state governor, sabotaged him and then stepped down for, for Atiku. That is northern politics they played on him. All the money he spent in north, all the river state money he took to the north to, to do a uh, good face and to buy the delegates, all of them are lost. And that is why he's badly aggrieved. He actually got the, the disappointment of the highest order. He was hit below belt by the Northern Caliphate. And now he's crying. And somebody is coming here to tell us that he's fighting against polarization. If he had won the, 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 the primaries, what could he have done to stop polarization when he, already, he was already aligning with the outsiders to, to, to win the whole election? Process and then to to you know also do their bid because as our officers will not support you until you sign a pact with them. So it's not fighting the flanization. Somebody is saying Wiki cannot and has not bad PDP activities in the south. So in the south south, we can understand when APC or or somebody is calling obedient are talking. Wait and see when elections come. So somebody is countering the first comment that Wiki has not and cannot bar the activity of PDP in the South South. But that is true. He only has authority in his states, and that is if he has the absolute authority as well. He cannot come to other PDP states um, like uh, uh, Delta State to come and tell the Delta what happens there. Even the governor of Delta State, Tokoa, is struggling to put the state together now. So he cannot even control the state. The PDP in, in Delta is, is also in a mess. Right? Somebody is saying, I suppose a child wrote this comment because it is completely senseless. And so what comment are you saying? All right? That um, um, uh, we keep bad activity of PDP in the South, South. We know he cannot and we will never be able to do that. All right? So somebody is agreeing here. It is true. No one can decide the votes of another man. Let's take life easy because all is vanity. Let peace reign. Where this person is speaking uh, from a, a neutral point of view and from with level of maturity, right? But it's just that the unfortunate thing here is that the spokespersons of both PDP and APC can never keep quiet. They will continue to cause confusion. They will continue to cause problems. And then Wike will also not keep quiet. Like I said earlier, during the time of Fayoshe, Fayoshe was the most outspoken person in PDP uh, from Ekiti State. And he stuck to a point that he started ridiculing himself. He became a comedian. 
now is no longer uh, relevant and is quite somewhere wiki has taken over and also talking like a comedian dancing like a comedian everywhere in river state now it's more of a comedian than than than, than the governor in river state simply because the northern oligarchy the northern caliphate just hitting below belt during the pdp primary and is badly aggrieved because he had lost time lost energy lost the the, the reverse the resources that he used to buy the northerners to support him during the pd primary but he lost all of them they sabotaged him they deceived him and they hit him below belt and that's why he's now uh, 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 shouting like 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 a snake a snake that his tail is chopped off he cannot he cannot continue to do like this he needs to settle down Melaya is bitter because he lost his senatorial primaries to a wiki supporter. Hmm. That is in PDP uh, Kugi State. Can you imagine? That is about generally wiki is also, I mean, uh, Melaya is also talking without reservation. I wonder how this old man can continue to, to talk like this. All right. So there are several comments here which I will not be able to, to you know, to continue to to read but generally that is what Atiku has told Wike through his smart piece Senator Dino Melaye. So let's see how that plays out the contest between uh, Atiku and Wike in River State. Let's see who wins at last. The end will justify the means. So thank you for listening and let's and uh, let's see your comment below as well.